Hey gals, it's Wynn. I wanted to bring to you today um, another story that I really like to do here at the end of the year. We are in the last eight to ten days of our school year, so we're really heavy into the countdown. And this book called Rose's Garden is one of my favorite books of all time. It's written by Peter H. Reynolds, and it is actually a tribute to Rose Kennedy. And I love to read this to my children at the end of the school year because the story of Rose's Garden is about this little girl who goes for an adventure on her teapot. And she finds this city that she wants to investigate. And in the city, there's a plot of land, and it's very dark, and um, you know how it's just been neglected quite a bit. And the story itself starts out um, using some browns and dark colors, kind of a grayscale. I hope you can see that. Um, and so what happens is Rose finds a place where there are no flowers and she goes to plant her seeds. She only has a few seeds left because she had a mishap with some birds. But when she plants them through the seasons, she has to stay with her garden. And it shows her going through the rains of the spring and the heat of the summer. And it shows her going through the autumn coming too early and she's waiting through the snowy winter and still no flowers come out. And what happens is that children in the city um, start to hear the story of Rose and how she's being patient with this garden and how she believes in this garden and how she waits for each sprout to come up and how nothing is happening. And so one by one, the children begin to come. And what happens when they come is the children bring Rose a paper flower. And you notice this is the first time that a child brings Rose a paper flower and it's in color. And then another child comes and brings her another paper flower for her garden. Until finally, Rose begins to really grow a garden and lots of children come. But every time they come, they tell Rose the story of how they came to be in the city. And so um, Rose continues to plant the paper flowers into her garden until finally she just has a huge garden of paper flowers. And what she's learned is about all of these children who are in the city and how they all come together and they make this beautiful garden happen as a community. And then one day at the end of the story, Rose hears a bee buzzing and she realizes that her um, live flowers, her real seeds that she planted, have actually sprouted and grown into flowers. And so the book just really is a great jumping off point for discussion about how each child that comes into the classroom brings their own story with them. And that's what we do with a book, is we talk to the children about how they are all so different, but how we came together and we made a classroom family throughout the year. And then we just let the kids kind of have a free-for-all with construction paper and glue and their markers and things. And they just get to put together um, and they cut out flowers, any kind that they want for themselves. And then we put these flowers together as a garden. And so I um, wanted to share this activity with you. It's really cool. In particular, this year I had one child who is very small in stature. And she came to me and she said, look, Mrs. Cobble, my flower is a tiny flower. And I said, yeah, and that's part of your story. Because she doesn't have any hang-ups about her size. We just know she's cute as a bug in a rug and she's a tiny child. And so she talks about how her being tiny and her flower is tiny because that is part of her story. So I'm going to get some shots of our, of our flower garden and let you see what it looks like and what we put out in the hallway. Um, but just really want to encourage you to check out Rose's Garden by Peter H. Reynolds just as an awesome book to end your year with and to have conversation with your kids about how their stories came together to make a great classroom community and what a beautiful garden they make of of just beautiful flowers and how they've grown over the year. So I hope you'll get Rose's Garden. If your year's already over, order it up for next year. And we'll see you in another week, guys.